The Sennheiser Momentum lineup has always been strong contenders in the consumer audio market, fusing modern and retro designs, allowing you to take great sound on the go. This began with the Momentum over the ears and then onto the more compact on-ear versions, both of which I had reviewed a while back, and you can click their reviews on the screen here. But since then, Sennheiser has began releasing their second generation of Momentum headphones. Well, does that mean that the in-ear Momentums has been left behind? Welcome to On A Student Budget. My name is Tom and I'm here to explore with you why I feel the in-ear Momentum is well deserving of the Momentum name and why it's a very attractive choice to the average consumer. Before we start this review, I want to thank Sennheiser for sending a pair of these Momentum in-ears out for review and I'm going to leave the links in the description below on where you can find out more information as well as where you can purchase these earphones and my full written review over on Headfire so I hope you check those links out. Diving right into the accessories, the Momentums come with a beautifully crafted hard shell yet fabric exterior carry case which is really protective of the earphones in general. However, my gripe with the case is the fact that I think it's a little bit oversized for the earphones uh, to use themselves uh, without the plastic mold. Um, with the plastic mold, it definitely makes the earphones uh, very attractive aesthetically when you're displaying this, say, in public and such, but it's really impractical for day-to-day -day use. Uh, they also lack pockets, which I think is a little bit of an oversight. They also come with four sizes of silicone ear tips. Now moving on into build quality and design. The Momentum in-ears come in two colorways, the gray and chrome version that you see in this video, and a very striking red and black color scheme as well. The ear pieces have this sort of irregular uh, angled shape, uh, which has this angled nozzle that is very comfortable in the human ear. And it really does look like Sennheiser has really studied the human ear anatomy very well because I have experienced no irritation in the many hours that I have used these earphones. At the end of the ear pieces, there is this sort of plastic tab that is really easy to grasp with your fingers making it very easy to remove in and out of your ear without any issue. So this is perfect if you're on the go and you need to really kind of make a really quick conversation with someone next to you or if you're just trying to listen to the overhead announcement in the subway. The ear pieces are made of mostly plastic with the exception of the metal nozzle. So it has fairly good durability overall. Moving down towards the cable, it terminates in a 90 degree angled jack. And overall, the cable is fairly minimalistic overall with a sort of elliptical design that helps in being tangle resistant while at the same time still being quite lightweight. The cable feels nicely made overall. And they also have this sort of hanger-like design at the end of each earpiece, which helps cuts down on the cable noise and prevents premature cable breakage. So I know that this is going to be a really nice addition, especially for day-to-day -day users. In terms of isolation, due to its vented design, I think it's really good compromise considering what you're going to be doing with these earphones, which is probably going to be commuting and uh, walking in busy areas where you kind of need a little bit of situational awareness for safety reasons. Moving on into sound. Reviews tend to be a little bit divided in this category. Some say that they're exciting and fun, while others say that they're unnatural sounding. But I really think that this really depends on the type of music you're listening to. For, for example, modern day pop, EDM, drum and bass, electronic, or sort of trance-like music, these are clean and a lot of fun with a really good amount of detail embedded in them. However, if you're listening to mostly classical, jazz, or rock music, for example, the bass might come through a little bit more than you would want and can kind of sound a little bit splashy at times. Strictly speaking, however, these have an emphasis on the two ends, the bass and the treble, which makes them punch hard while still sounding nicely detailed overall. Moving into the bass, the bass digs deep with a really nice, satisfying, tight, fast punch that I think will satisfy most except for probably the most die-hard bass heads. 
Uh, the bass is really good, especially in moderately noisy environments, which kind of helps cuts through the rumbling and the bustling uh, in the environment. The mid-range takes a little bit of a dip, so male and female vocals sound a little bit thin in comparison to, for example, the New Force NE800M, which I reviewed in a previous video, which uh, you can click the link in the annotation above here. Uh, which in comparison sounds a little bit uh, a lot more thicker and full bodied in general. Uh, vocals tend to have a little bit of that nasal kind of tone, but it still remains nicely clear. Treble wise, it, the momentum follows the more on ear version, the older brothers, which tends to be a little bit more crisp and snappy that uh, can cause a little bit of fatigue at higher volumes. However, the slightly metallic texture to the treble can really be really exciting, especially on certain uh, rock tracks, and they can be really gives you a really nice snap and cymbal crashes, which makes it everything sound very lively and vivacious. However, on the opposite end, this can be a little bit splashy uh, for those that are a little bit more treble sensitive. Tuning wise, I think this is more of a refined version and a little bit more even sounding uh, of the Brainwaves S5s, which I reviewed a while back, which is at the same price range at about $99 to about $100. So why do I recommend these Momentum in-ears? Well, for starters, it's very easily available on a global scale. You can find them in large electronic stores like Best Buys or maybe even Walmart and it's really a, a well-known brand with a really long and rich history in audio engineering and in the audio pro market meaning that they have stricter quality controls and this helps in really taking advantage of the two-year warranty that they come with and lastly of course these earphones come with uh, both an iOS and an Android version, which I think is a fantastic uh, feature that Sennheiser has implemented because especially being an Android user myself, uh, it's really hard to find uh, earphones that can have uh, the module controls for volume uh, in addition to obviously the play, pause, and rewind and skip calls. In short, if you want to really waltz into a nearby electronic store and walk away satisfied with really good sound, give the momentum in ears a try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.